What's up guys, it's BT here, and this is the first look at the new Model D- minus from Glorious, the mouse for those of us who don't need to compensate for their shortcomings with a bigger mouse. This is the follow-up to their popular ergonomic mouse, the Model D. Not only is this the smaller version of that mouse, it marks a new era for Glorious as they have made some improvements to their QC processes as well as changing some of the materials on their mice. And it all starts with this model, the Model D-, minus, and all of their previous mice moving forward will be made with the same changes as the model d minus this is the prototype so it's not the final version of the mouse so i don't want to give you guys a full review just yet but make sure you are subscribed so you guys can see the full review when it finally does drop okay so the pricing will be competitive as always at 50 for the matte and 60 for the glossy nothing has really changed there glorious has always been competitive with their pricing so if you're deciding if you want the glossy or the matte or the white or the black i always tell people if you want the best rgb experience get the white and glossy version because the rgb lighting will just reflect off of the inside of the honeycomb way more than the matte or the black versions and of course if you have dry hands you want to get the glossy so that your little d won't slip out of your hands the model d minus keeps that same honeycomb exterior with the new dimensions of 120 by 61 by 67 that's an eight millimeter difference in length compared to the original model d while the front and back stay the same in terms of width to give you enough girth to keep your model d minus comfortably in your hand so i want to help you guys if you guys are deciding between the D or the D minus. Now my hands are personally 19 by 8.5 centimeters and I consider myself to be a medium handed mouse user. And for me, the Model D was a little bit too big and I feel like I lost a little bit of control because my hand was too lifted. But now my small and medium handed brothers the Model D- minus has the perfect amount of height so you can control your Ds. Zowie EC2 users are going to feel right at home with the Model D-. minus. I'd say if your hands are 21 centimeters long, I'd start looking at the Model D because that'll be the better mouse for you. The new length also allows you to hit the side buttons easier if that was an issue for you with the Model D. I'm able to rock the front and the back side buttons very, very easily. Since this is an ergo mouse, it's going to lend itself to palm, relaxed claw, and relaxed palm grip users. You can also fingertip grip this mouse because it is shorter in length, giving you enough range of motion so that you don't hit the back of your palm. As for the weight, you're going to be looking at 60 to 62 grams with a little bit of cable. So you're looking at a 7 to 9 gram difference from the original Model D. Picking them up side by side, I can honestly feel the difference in weight. The Model D also has a smaller feet compared to its other brother. And on the bottom, you're going to have these little blue films on it. So don't forget to take those off. Uh, and I like that they actually made them colored because some companies actually just leave them as a clear film and then you're gaming with them a couple months later you're like why are these peeling and uh yeah, you're supposed to take those off. They also have these mouse feed add-ons, which you can add near the front or the back of the mouse if you want more glide. So this just increases the surface area, giving you a smoother experience overall. The scroll wheel material has also changed now. It's more of a matte, grittier feeling rubber now, instead of the old smooth, soft, rubbery one on the other Glorious mice. The tactility of the scroll wheel also feels a lot deeper and a lot crispier overall than the previous models. Now, who remembers the initial release of the Model O? A lot of people weren't happy with the switches in those mice because of the inconsistencies in their clicks. I can really tell that Glorious has been listening to the feedback and they're really trying to step up their game because even with this prototype, I can feel a huge tactility change from this one compared to the Model D. And that mouse just released, so they've been doing work behind the scenes. They're a lot more high-pitched and clicky and less drawn out than their older mice, and that's a W in my eyes. You love to see it. They're also using the Ascended V2 cable. It's thin and flexible, what we come to expect from them. One of the best versions of a paracord type cord to date. Now it features a 3360 sensor that can go up to 12,000 DPI and it has a pulling rate that goes up to 1,000 Hertz. The DPI can be changed by hitting the DPI button up top and it has this nice color indicator on the bottom. The liftoff distance is also two millimeters. So I'm just gonna compare the mouse one and two on the Model D- minus to the older Model D so you guys can hear it.
What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. The structural integrity of the Model D Minus is also really good. When you try to flex the side panel of the mouse, it doesn't actuate the side buttons. There's more flex on the bottom of the mouse, but that's okay unless you're slamming your mouse onto your desk. And on the top, there's a little bit of flex as well, but nothing to be too concerned about. Their mouse one and two buttons barely wiggle around, and this is a great improvement from their older mice. Now as for how the mouse performs, I'm gonna leave that for the full review. Come on, I, I can't give you guys everything right now. Okay, fine, I will tell you this much. I had my personal best in Valorant with this mouse. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Anyways guys, if you haven't tried a Glorious Mouse yet, you are seriously missing out as their lineup of mice is full of bangers. They sold over 1 million mice and I have a feeling the best is yet to come for them, especially if they keep listening to the consumers and making their products better and better. And if you already have a Glorious Mouse, you already know these are like Pokemon, you gotta catch them all, right? <laughs> and on the real guys, not even talking as a reviewer, but just as a fan of mice, it's always fun to try out Glorious Mice because it's, there's just something about their launches that are just magical every single one of their mice in the line has its own characteristic even though it's just a smaller mouse of the d minus or it was the model o minus from the o there's just something about trying out the mice and seeing which mouse fits best for you and seeing do these weights and dimensions really make a difference in your aim all right guys this has been your boy bt the mouse is dropping today for pre-order they're not doing it like the way that they were before where you just put in like ten dollars then you pay the full amount later they're actually doing it where you have to pay the full amount up front and i believe these should be shipping out sometime this summer to fall and if you guys do want to purchase the mouse i have an affiliate link down below and it really helps the channel out at no extra cost to you so thank you guys for watching it has been your boy bt don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace